What are the expectations on Brian Kelly at LSU? We're less than 70 days away from week one of the college football season kicking off. So before we get into that, I need to talk a little bit to you about what's going on at LSU because we all understand this here. LSU is a different beast when it comes to standards and expectations. Like there's not many like what you got going in Baton Rouge. The tradition, you're used to winning. One of the most passionate fan bases in all of college football. You've always had a roster in recent memory, at least, to be excited about. There's always been something to buy into preseason at LSU. Like, it's just a different beast. You think about other programs that are similar to it in terms of like the situations you walk into every single year. Ohio State's kind of in that conversation. Alabama, now Georgia. Like LSU is a different beast. With different beasts comes different expectations and enter into the fray. Last year, Brian Kelly leads you to a double-digit win season. You show up in Atlanta. Life is good. I want to take a look at short-term and long-term expectations at LSU for Brian Kelly, but I want to ask another question. Are they fair? Are these expectations properly calibrated? And listen, it's college football. We're not asking for fair. We're asking for wins on Saturday afternoon. So I guess do with that what you will. But I think we need to have this conversation right now. All right. So before we get into that, make sure you're subscribed right here. The Hard Count is live tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern. We we'll want you a part of this. Lock it in. We'll have a good time. Get in the live chat. We'll get after it. Also, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter, at JD Paquel. Those are great spots for us to interact and for you to know when we're going live. All right? So thank you to Mitch for that. All right. Short-term expectations at LSU. The thought around the fan base, you would imagine, given what happened last year, is, all right, this, this machine is humming now. Brian Kelly steps in year one, bada bing, bada boom. Jaden Daniels is our quarterback via the portal. We win 10 games. Like I said, we're in Atlanta. Like life is good now. Life is good. Like the future in the Drake song. But you hear what I'm saying. With LSU now, the feeling is it's all ironed out. And this thing is just going one way. And that's up. And I don't think that's an unreasonable thought to have. But I think we also saw some things from LSU that are fair to have medium hesitations about if that makes sense I saw a team that won close games and listen close games is a phenomenal thing to win obviously you're never turning away W's especially if it's against Nick Saban and Alabama like you're always taking wins but in four one score games LSU went three and one saying JD again that's great we love that. Like, let's keep it coming. We, can't, we don't care if we win by one or 100. We don't care. I hear you. So that's a positive stat. That's also not a reliable stat to go year to year with. See what I'm saying here? So I'm a little bit concerned about where this team is at because those games that they won could have just as easily gone the other direction. LSU won 10 games last year. If they don't win those three games that were one score... Seven win football team. And we have a very different conversation right now about Brian Kelly and LSU. So that's my first hesitation. The second hesitation is we saw a team that was inconsistent. And y'all that have tuned into this show for any period of time, you're kind of hmm and ha and groaning at this. But I'll, I'll just say this. We didn't see the same LSU team week in and week out last year. Now, the good news is that's not what Brian Kelly is hanging his hat on. That's why he's there. That's kind of what I want to land the plane at here with the short-term expectations. The reminder for all of us is that Brian Kelly was brought to LSU because things weren't good in Baton Rouge. Because this thing wasn't upholding the standard of what you expect from your football team. Brian Kelly is still putting together a foundation for this team. We saw phenomenal results last year. But the foundation is still being installed culturally. I don't have a ton of questions about the roster. Heck, I didn't have a ton of questions about the roster when Ed Orgeron was there. The questions really lie with the base and the foundation of that culture that's going to allow them to capitalize on that roster they have. So for Brian Kelly, when it comes to expectations for 2023, I think you should expect to see a consistent product. Like, that would be my expectations. And I'm not here to tell you, hey, don't shoot for the stars and don't expect an SEC title. But I'm saying, if your expectations are that you win a national title in 2023 or the year's just a failure, I would say, like, let's, let's take a step back here. That feels a little bit unfair. Again, 
We're not here to talk about fair in the college football landscape Saturday in and Saturday out. But before we get to the games, I wanted us to make sure we had this conversation. The expectation, again, for me, is consistent product week in and week out. Whatever that looks like, so be it. That would be my expectation of my LSU fan. Now, long-term expectations, totally different story. And I'll say this too for LSU. You expect a national championship, and you should, because you have the resources. You're in a talent-rich state in Louisiana. You have alignment with the football team and the administration. And there's history there. And when I say history, I don't just mean like the brand of LSU has history. We all know that. We all get that. I'm saying the previous head coaches that came before Brian Kelly, some of which maybe don't stack up to the same stature as Brian Kelly from what he's done throughout his career, they've all done it too. Now, Nick Saban's obviously excluded from that conversation, but I'm saying Nick Saban, Les Miles, Ed Orgeron, all three of those cats before Brian Kelly, each won a national title. And I promise you, a lot of people are taking Brian Kelly over Ed Orgeron and over Les Miles. No shade on either of those guys. That's just kind of the reality right now. And so for LSU, it's not getting any easier with the SEC adding Oklahoma and Texas and the college football playoff expanding, having to play more games, win a national title. It's not getting any easier. But LSU fans, you've never been graded on the curve. You've never graded your team on the curve. It's always been Here's what we got. Resources, talent, standards, all these things. It's way up here for LSU. We're not asking for any handouts. We're not asking for it to be easy for us here. Now, for LSU, the standards are the same. The expectations are the same. And I would say this too. I would be wildly surprised if Brian Kelly does not win a national title at LSU before it's all said and done. So the expectations long-term, national title. Without a doubt, you should expect that because of what you put in and because of all the things we just talked about behind the scenes at LSU. But this year, the key word for me is consistency. This machine is going to get rolling, but to assume it's just completely at cruising altitude just yet, I don't know if that's the case. I'll tell you this, though. Men lie, women lie, Saturday afternoons in the fall. They don't lie. We're going to get to find out together. Again, we're live tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern. Tune in. We're going to have a real good time now. Get in the live chat. We'll have a lot of fun. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram, at JD Paquel. I'll let y'all know when it's all going down, all right? I'll tweet out the link. I'll post an Instagram story. It's going to be good. All right, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We're going to keep this party rolling. We will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.